So look, JD, I want to report back on my my adventures in Kendal, right, and Lancaster, and right. see if it makes any sense to you, right? Okay, and then work out how we could do something similar in Exeter if if it if it dis- was still making any sense. And I think it starts from um, the sort of side issue I want want to clarify. D- do you think technology and digital innovation or disruption is news anymore, or has has it become normal? It's definitely become more normal. And I want the people who walk along the, the, the pavement, looking at their phones twenty four seven, to observe what's happening around them. That's that's so what you we, think there we're are a lot of people. Miss. There's a lot of people like that. You think? Yes, uh, I take it in on board. I never look at my phone when I'm walking along the, the high street. I would stop and look at it, right, and then carry on. So I'm with what is, whatever's happening around you, because you can miss out on something, and then you you'll regret it. Right. That's what we're missing out now at the moment is what's happening around us. So so this 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 fits with walking. It makes mm. sense to go walking. But mm. so do you think there's any building that that has a tech vision associated with it that you say aha there are some tech ideas that I wasn't thinking about earlier. I, I sort of raised that because on the Lancaster campus, the university campus mm. I can't remember when it was exactly. It might be 10 years ago, something like that. Mm-hmm. They built the Info Lab, Info Lab 21, mm-hmm. which looks kind of futuristic as a building mm-hmm. and has got loads of technology stuff inside mm. it. And um, that that made, made an impact because you could see it from outside. Mm. Um, all the other buildings are surrounded by trees, but that one you could see from the motorway. And it, it, I thought, was influential because it made people think, oh, well, there's some technology. Perhaps we should think about what could so be done with it. So do you think they're, they're, they're teaching technology in the right way? Do you think it's technology to well, who knows help what, the, who the, knows what the development right is of the world or um, to just to hinder us in, in, <laughs> in, our, in our goal to get from A to B? <laughs> well, that's a, good, that's a very good question. Yes. Uh, I, d- I don't think they know how... Well, you, you, and, I, you and I are some sort of older, older members, shall we say. This is true. You know, of the society. And at school, I definitely didn't have, you know, mobile phones... Uh, computers, you know, to actually do, you know, at your desk, so you can have it twenty four seven. No, so no, I, I well, wasn't. No, but, but Judy, there's, there's there's quite in the newspapers. You do mm. see um, teachers, head teachers, saying we must banish the the phones from yes. the schools. Yes. Um, whereas there's other people saying, well, the MOOC is is quite wonderful, and we should mm. have more use of devices. To, to support education. Well, we can we can say we can ban them, but what are you going to replace them with? That's the whole thing, because the society oh, well, of well, today well, is... Uh, children of today, shall we say, are latched onto it straight away, and they, they can't do without it. Well, yeah, w- when, I, when I read these opinions in newspapers, I mm. do sometimes think, aha, mm-hmm. these people want to maintain the newspaper <laughs> and the paperback Well, book I used to read a newspaper, so but forth. I've disbelieve newspapers altogether now ah. and including news on, on television or whatever or on the radio or whatever I just don't listen to it anymore no well that's another problem look mm. can I just take you back a bit yep because um, it's one of the things which has occurred to me while I've been trying to think this through is that actually the, the, there are no dramatic buildings with a technology impact so it, 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 all the people wandering around Exeter staring at their phones um, they don't think where is the nearest aerial that's helping this to happen, do they? They just sort of assume there is an aerial somewhere. Do you think that way of life is changing because do we now have it in our pockets that we don't need a you know an, a building with technology in it? Or are you thinking of uh, information to help you through the technology? Well, I'm thinking really about how the how the for example in education how the people who decide about education mm. work out how to spend their money what to invest in mm. um because it sort of started my my thought was if you if you have a, a walk on the lancaster campus because mm. they now have a spine it's a very very dramatic sequence of 
architecture. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good video background. Mm -hmm. And you could use that uh, to link together conversations as a sort of chat show or showing off bits and pieces that you borrowed from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Sound clips or video clips, whatever. But if you started at one end with the InfoLab and you said, well, there's all this wonderful technology, Mm. we must take full advantage of it and went into online Mm. learning and all these kinds of things... Um, you'd then get to a business school or a management school they call it Mm. but let's say it's a business school where you could talk about whether it made any sense to invest in this sort of thing financially and possibly just critique it Mm. because there's lots of objections from educational people to all this Mm. commercial technology stuff coming in and then you'd get to um, a big square in the middle where there's a library Mm. and a learning zone and over time, I think the, the, the library's put more investment into a sort of super cyber cafe, really. Mm. They, don't, they don't serve a lot of coffee, but it's... A, <laughs> cyber coffee. It's a, it's a, yeah, well, it's a sort of cyber coffee, let's say, yeah. The, 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 their atmosphere, mm. their, their surroundings, has the effect of, co- of coffee, let's mm. say. And there is mm. a big uh, Costa mm. as well, if you... If you demand coffee right so so so, so Jody, yes. can i just say that yeah. so you've got a walk yeah and i went up there for a walking festival yeah and linking that to video or mm-hmm. you can do a sound version of it but you're essentially using location to have some sort of meaning of of where you are what the main concern is in that spot yes that's what's lost you know, when 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 I as as you as you know, when you when we were smaller, we used to go out to London or wherever, and you go and visit something, and that's with sort of excitement. But now you can look on the internet and get the probably the same excitement <laughs> from a from a screen, and you don't need to travel that distance to go and see it. So you're saying most most people are actually staring at their screen and have no idea yes. where they are, <laughs> yes. and therefore the walk, the idea of walking in yeah. real places yes. is a bit strange anyway. It is strange. I think it's uh, more more or less now than than when we were smaller. Okay. Well, look, I I I I'm moving on a bit because I'd, I'd like to to sort of complete this conversation bef- mm-hmm. before Chris gets here, and he might yep. he might be here about quarter past. But we actually know we actually have a bug on him. Yes, just I to show a, we're not opposed to the technology. Yeah, we, we, we do no, know we, where he is. We rely on this so that uh, if Chris does have an accident or something like that, I can rush out and give him a hand. Okay. So that's the reason I've got it. Okay. Like, well, it's a if, hairy you, if you think he's about to arrive, do he's, say, and I'll. He's I'll, uh, mm, almost here. He's almost here. You're almost right. here. Okay. Well, the other the other place that I thought was interesting to walk along mm. was the 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 Highgate bit, the central bit of uh, Kendall, because mm-hmm. it's also a straight line. <laughs> no, that's, that's easy. Well, walking. that's what I, from a walking point of view. <laughs> that's easy, <laughs> uh, or a map point of view. You can do that with your eyes closed. Yeah. As long as you stick to that road, yeah, you won't get lost. And mm. let's say at one end of it, there's a shopping centre which has got mobile phones and cameras mm. and techie devices mm. so you could regard that as a techie bit mm. and then at the other end you've got the brewery arts centre mm. which I would I, I've always imagined as being analogue mm. they seem to me to they have got cinema mm. but the the art end of it seems to me quite analogue mm. but now they're going to go digital mm. so I think you'd have to do a sort of historical um, show there <laughs> but just to get a bit of contrast mm-hmm. into the into the space but I think you could you could have it. You could sort of try and go back. When 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 do you think um, digital cameras were controversial? There, there controversial. was a point where, where people said, "Well, they'll, they'll never work." Well, I they'll don't never know, get I, I've, I've never had one. I've never had a digital camera. Before. Well, you've got a phone. On my phone, I do, but uh, I, that's not my sort of request in life to have that sort of technology. I don't really need. Did you to. Did you ever have a film camera? I don't. I had a camera called Diana camera, <laughs> a nice plastic thing, but it took very nice photographs, and and I even had my my father's old camera from the war, so you know and that worked as well. So so that was film. You had to get it developed. That's film, yes. So it's you. you I think in the way you lose that that ability to learn the quest of what a camera does. Because these these phones now, you just stick it up there, take a photograph, and you got one. That's it. Hey, Presco, but it doesn't actually tell you how you got how it got on there. No. 
So that's the technology. So, well, it's, Judy, this is this is wonderful. This will mm. fit into my idea for a, a historical. I, mean, I, I hope you don't mind me saying you've got a historical point of view there. <laughs> prehistoric. <laughs> well, no, it's not prehistoric. <laughs> it's just that if the if the if the brewery art centre is mm. is presenting themselves as going digital. Mm. Will they actually make the case for classic cameras and film mm. at the same time? I think they still well, they be, might do. They still be around because that engineering, I suppose, it's it hasn't really changed. If you if you look at it, a camera is a camera takes a picture. Yes. Yes, it doesn't do anything else. It doesn't make me a cup of coffee. It doesn't do anything like that at all. So that's all it does. Right. So that it, continuity, but the the phones have changed. You know, now well they're get, they're getting they're getting better I think as cameras they're, because they're, yes. they're computers as well so they yes. they fix all the lighting yes as it goes along yes Seem, I, th- I think that's what's going on ah uh, yeah well that, that that's in a way is a good thing but it takes the the zinc out of out of how <laughs> photographs are produced yes see my days of in in you know producing your photograph from scratch and developing it I used to enjoy that. Because you didn't know how, what, how it was going to look like. But now I take a photograph and I look at it instantly and say, oh, that doesn't look really good. I'll delete it and take another one. Yeah. So. I think he's, I think he's here. Oh, no, he's not. He, he is. He? I oh, think right, he is. Okay. And you've left the door open as well. No, no, no. no you no, can't no, stop no, it. No, you no, can't no, stop no, it coming no, in. No, no, no. 